Yo, what up, what up? It's your boy Dino, aka Common Sense. And today, we got one of my homeboys, my new compadres, one of my vatos, uh, GRG, all the way from across the planet uh, in Greece. And uh, yeah, we just linked up about a week or so ago, man, and we thought we'd kind of take this review thing or these interviews uh, on a global level. So what's up with you today, my man, GRG? <laughs> so, so, Dino, Dino, really quick, I want to uh, say thank you for this opportunity, you know, this little collaboration. But um, yeah, so most of you guys know I'm from Rhodes, Greece. It's, it really isn't that far away from Athens. It's like about uh, one hour by plane, seven, eight hours, you know, by a boat if you want to take a boat. But yeah, so what I was doing today, uh, nothing much really, uh, you know, just everyday errands, you know, and everything like that. You actually got... <laughs> You uh, caught me in the middle of, I was about to go and uh, make some donuts, actually, as me being uh, a cook. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So, um, basically, I'm going to give you, you know, I'm going to talk about some fragrances that I think are okay. really well suited here in Greece. Just to give you, you know, a really quick summary. The weather is always humid here. It doesn't get really cold like, you know, how it gets in the States or maybe Canada or some other countries our uh, other friends live in. But it gets it cold, gets but not that, much. that much. Right, right. So well, listen, um, let me ask you a question. You're talking about yeah, donuts, yeah. man. You're talking about donuts. Let me ask you real quick. Uh, on that <laughs> level, on that note, speaking uh -huh. of notes, what would be uh, one of your favorite gourmand fragrances that reminded you of donuts? I mean, speaking of donuts, what would that be? Yeah, yeah. good question, good question. Um, a fragrance that I have in my collection so far that, you know, remind me of sweets, you know, uh, baking, donuts, everything mm -hmm. like that, in that kind of category, I would have to say the original Angel Man by oh. Thierry Mouglet. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I smell I this and I have a sweet tooth and it like disappears once I smell it. It smells really good. It has vanilla, chocolate, yeah, uh, coffee. It has, you know, the patchouli, which everyone hates in the opening. But talking about donuts is this one right here, Angel Men. Very great for, you know, the winter. I can I can pull this off here in Greece when it gets, you know, in uh, when it gets cold. But mm -hmm. right here, Angel Men. For the question, wow. you know, about the donuts. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. How long have you been wearing that, man? How long have you had the... I mean, how long have you been rocking the Thierry Mugler stuff? Uh, how long? Believe it or not, this was oh, the, the first... first this, this was, was one, one of the first, first fragrances, fragrances I bought okay. uh, when I started collecting. Uh, so I've been wearing this for like about two years now mm -hmm. since I started collecting. I have this for two years. I love it. And I'm, I pretty much know I'm going to love it like down the road. This is it's really good really stuff. stuff. Okay, well, well, check this out. If in Greece, never been there, you know, maybe one day, you know, when when uh, I become rich and famous, um, I'll get a chance <laughs> to fly to Greece and uh, find out for myself what's a great fragrance to wear. But what is a, another great fragrance to, you know, in Greece, you say it's humid and whatnot. Um, yeah. What's a, what's another great fragrance uh, that you would that you would say is something that really stands out in that type of a weather? On that side of the world. Mm -hmm. Perfect question what? once again. There's a fragrance, you know, I, I was looking for a fragrance when I first started collecting, you know, something that's because it's all uh, um, always warm here mm -hmm. and it is, you know, Greece, you know, the Mediterranean, oh, you know. Yeah. So I was looking for a fragrance. I was like, gee, I need to find a fragrance that once I smell it, it's always going to remind me, you know, of the beach of, you know, the warm weather, you know, that Mediterranean vibe going on. So I went and picked up this bottle about probably a year ago. And it's this one right here. Oh. Bulgari's Aqua <laughs> Marine. <laughs> now, let me tell you, you smell this, this is pretty much, when you smell this fragrance, you're gonna think of yourself, not only in Greece, but in any type of beach. You're sitting on the beach, you got that air coming in, you know, with the seaweed, you know, there's seaweed around, the air blows, and you get the smell of the salt from the ocean, the seaweed. And this also has a um a rosemary note. 
And, you know, mm. rosemary is used in uh, the Greek cuisine and, you know, in Italy as well, you know, as, you know, an ingredient in food. So this is a really, really nice fragrance. If you ever, you know, come to vacation and you get rich and you go, you no, know, you come over here with your Learjet, <laughs> uh, you could definitely wear this and you'll, you'll be happy you did. Really reminds me of, you know, here in Greece. Wow. Perfect fragrance. Now, would you recommend that fragrance to someone that may not live near a beach or that may not have that humid, beachy weather? Would, was that something you would recommend to, to, the, to them? Definitely. Yeah. Definitely, definitely I will recommend that, you know, for the summertime. It's perfect for the summer. And also, you know, we all went, we all went, you know, on vacation. And, you know, we look for, you know, some a fragrance that kind of reminds us of that vacation. So, you know, if you've ever been on vacation, you know, to a beach, you know, Ocean City or wherever, you know, you live in, definitely pick this one up and I'm going to tell you, it's going to remind you of that and you're really going to like it. And then it's a, a perfect, perfect uh, fragrance for the summertime. summertime. Well, let me ask you this also. Now, would you only wear it for the summer and spring or could someone like myself who loves to just wear everything, could someone like myself kind of pull it off for the fall and the winter months that you are know, about to come up? You know, you can wear fragrance whenever you want. Right, 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 <laughs> you know, right. if you like it, go ahead and wear it. Right, right, right. <laughs> um, but definitely because this has that rosemary note, um, it's kind it's of like – and this is categorized as an aromatic – Oh, yeah, uh, definitely. You know, it's it's going to project people smell this in the winter time. Uh, yeah. In the winter time, in the cold weather, probably not as much as in the summer. But, yeah, you can definitely, you know, wear this in the winter time. If you're going out for a couple of hours. You know, you're going to be back home. Definitely go ahead. Wear it. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know, that's, that's kind of it's kind of interesting, man, because I have a lot of bottles, man. I have a lot of juice and I do not uh, have that. So I'm jealous that really? you have that. <laughs> I'm jealous that you actually have that. So I'm going to have to get my hands on that. Now, look, yeah, yeah. for all those people that, that know my man GRG, y'all know he gets it in, man. I mean, he, he's a great reviewer, man. He's been doing some things for a while. Let me ask you another question, man. Outside of the aquatic no. piece, uh, um, what would be something else that you could recommend um, to anyone that's just not coming to the fragrance game or even some of the OGs that are in the game, what would you recommend if they were to come to Greece or go to Italy or some of the other really nice locations around the world, like in Greece, what would be another great fragrance that you could share with this man that, that, that's just beast mode, man. That's just a projection beast. It's a, uh, just an awesome fragrance. Well, projection beast. I have another fragrance, and you might not call this a projection beast, uh -huh. or you know, and, and a lot of people say that this doesn't last long. It's not that it doesn't last long; it just doesn't project, you know, as good as a lot of other fragrances. But definitely, you know, here in Greece, where I live, I can get away with this fragrance very easy in the summertime and in the winter time. Uh, it's going to be one of the bottles that I first bought with Angelman. I actually bought this one with Angelman. The same, I received them the same day. It's going to be this one. Uh, ah. Dolce & Gabbana is the one. Yes. Dolce & Gabbana is the one. The reason why I recommend this if someone lives in uh, weather you know, similar to mine, you can get away with this in the summertime because it has that uh, ginger citrus opening mm -hmm. and you can also get away with this in the fall and winter because of that distinct t sweet tobacco that it has in it. I mean, this fragrance, I wear it any time, any uh, uh, day, day of, of the year, year hot or cold, cold, it doesn't matter. I can get away with this really easy, and I highly recommend it for everyone. Pretty much everyone already smelled this, but really another great one. So that's that's a that's an award winning piece right there in the fragrance community. Yeah, for those it is. that don't know. That right there between that one and I hear a lot about Dolce Gabbana, um, Dior Omen and Tense as well, right? Mm -hmm. That's another great uh big bottle name uh that's that's in the communities. I hadn't got my hands on that one either. Uh but that's something I definitely would like to get my hands on. And um I think I will. Now I think I do have that one, or is that is that one Along the lines of, is that the one gentleman, or is uh, is that a different? No, it's no, Just, it's it's the original. The one gentleman. It has the blue juice with the blue cap. I think right, uh -huh. this is 
this is original stuff. This is the one you want to get. <laughs> wow. So how do you compare that to Gentleman? I mean, is is uh, is the one the one um, is it just a better juice than Gentleman? Or I mean, would you recommend the both? In my opinion. The one gentleman has a similar DNA to this one. Uh -huh. um, I think the the one gentleman, when I tested it out, you know, when I went to the store and smelled it out, it, it had like, you know, uh, a peppery note to it. It had like some spice pepper. It's a mm -hmm. little bit more on the spice side, a little bit uh, more fresher. I actually recommend this one. Okay. This is, you know, it, it, in the class of its own. Um, I don't I haven't been around fragrances that smell like this. I haven't come across fragrances that, you know, smell like this one. It's I mean, it's a really nice fragrance. Very, very nice. And it's really, you know, good for like a romantic setting as well. Right. Right. Well, look, I'm gonna catch you off guard, man. I'm gonna throw you off a little bit. If you had to if you have to just reach back into your collection, um, yeah, yeah. Or reach back on your on your on your shelf and just grab one bottle as a blind buy. What would that bottle be? I'm looking at your dresser. If you had to just go back there and grab something off your dresser uh, as as a as a blind buy um, uh, and something really great to wear there in Greece, which bottle on your dresser would you pick up? Okay, okay. Here, we here we go. Ah, <laughs> that was easy, huh? <laughs> I'm gonna say this one right here. Oh, there it is. <laughs> <laughs> Blue, Blue de Chanel. You know what? This is a compliment getter. I got a lot of compliments with this this one. They didn't even have to, you know, tell me that they liked it. By the way, like, the girls looked at me when they passed me. I was wearing this. I knew that it was a compliment. It's very nice. It's woody. It's citrusy. Um, It's the best of both worlds, actually. It's quality. It lasts. It it projects. Uh, so if you wanted to buy a fragrance, um, blind, you know, you wanted to buy bind one. This is a really good one to get. A lot of people underestimate this fragrance. You know, they say, oh yeah, blue dish. No, no. <laughs> you really gotta look into this one. It's a really, really good juice. What size is that Highly bottle? Recommend it. What size is that bottle? This, this is, is actually a 50 ml. Wow. This is the 50. What is the price point or something like that? Uh, a price points. Okay. I, I don't really know. I got this one for about um, 52 euros. I don't okay. know how much that's in dollars. Right. But, yeah, I, I paid quite, a, quite you know, a big amount for this one. Okay. Well, that's what's up, man. That's what it's all about, you guys. I mean, this international thing is a beautiful thing. When you can link up with your brother from another mother, you know, it's a beautiful exactly. thing. Exactly. Yeah, it's a beautiful <laughs> thing to link up with our other brothers across the a country and across the, the planet, man, to find out what's really happening in their part of the world, you know. And once again, GRG is a great fragrance head. I mean, he's been getting there for a minute. Uh, and for those that don't know, he's a chef also. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. He's a chef, and so he gets it in, and he definitely has the nose for those things that we call gourmand and niche and things like that. So if you don't know him, yep. get to know him. He's on Facebook as George <laughs> Fortinas. Uh, great guy, man. Link up with him. I don't know all the information on his YouTube page, but look, y'all check him out, man, because he's great. If he wants to give you that information, go right ahead, GRG, for your YouTube page. Yeah, I'm on, I'm on YouTube, GRG Fortinas, as some of you may know. I'll... Uh, Definitely. I'll leave you a link down below. And um, yeah, just check me out. Dino is a great guy. You know, he's yeah. new to to this fragrance uh, reviewing thing in the community, but definitely with a lot of potential. Trust me, he has a lot of potential. So uh, definitely, you know, and, you know, I just want to say thank you again for this collaboration. Indeed. And, uh, indeed. I really enjoyed doing this. All right. Until next time, guys, I think we're going to come from the city of New York. Even though the storm may have blew, blew in, we're going to come from the city of New York uh, with my, uh, more of our, our, our brothers from uh, around the world. So until next time, look good, be good and smell good. Peace. Yeah, I'm going to go make.